Hello everybody, my name is Scott and welcome back for another video of NHL Franchise Mode or NHL 22 Franchise Mode I should say We ended up not having that good of a season We ended up missing out on the playoffs boys Of course it is difficult to make the playoffs if you're not very competitive Like you're not very competitive But uh, we tried our best, we did alright towards the beginning but fell down completely at the end as soon as I made the, the trades to upgrade my team, it down actually downgraded my team. So I guess I messed up with the chemistry and it messed my, uh, my season up at, at the same time. Now we're just going to continue to simulate and uh, I guess we'll just see who wins the cup this year, boys. I mean, some of my players had some pretty decent season, uh, a pretty decent season. I would have just hoped to have like a better luck. In terms of where I landed it at, you know. But at the same time, we might get lucky and get the first round pick. We could get lucky. And it seems like a Toronto Maple Leafs are going to be the one winning the cup. After 45 plus years, boys, without having won a single cup. They finally did it. They win it. They won it, boys. So there it is. I guess they didn't have Montreal in their path, so... They didn't have to worry about that or Boston for uh, for that matter. So it looks like Ottawa is going to get the very first draft pick. Nashville at second. Al the Islanders, Arizona, St. Louis. Rangers, Dallas. Arizona again via Montreal. Los Angeles, Seattle. Anaheim, Winnipeg, Montreal via the Carolina. Uh, Carolina. And we are all, all the way at 14, boys. We did not move up. Which is kind of unfortunate. We actually moved down. We were 13 and we moved down to 14. So we got unlucky with that one. Actually got unlucky. Uh, let's do it, uh, take a look at the view uh, the retirements. So George Thornton decided to retire. He uh, retired with the Florida Panthers. Uh, an interesting pick. That's for sure an interesting uh, place to retire at. Pretty decent uh, career. A really good career I should say. So uh, we're going to miss him for sure, boys. Uh, Nielsen, after that, not really anybody that's uh, really worth taking a look at. Uh, Defense-wise, nothing at all. And goalie-wise, nothing at all either. What about our team itself? Do Did we get anybody? Nope. Nobody retired on our team, boys. So we're good. Uh, Nielsen became our coach, maybe. And Thornton became scout. So we got George Thornton as a scout now. I am not sure if we lost anybody. I don't think we did. I don't think we did lose a single coach in retirement. So that's perfect. And now we're coming up to the draft lottery as well. So I am not too sure what to do today. I think I really want to upgrade my team as much as possible. But we're going to make it a little bit different once we come up to the free agency. I am not just going to look at playmakers and snipers. I'm also going to look at the two way forwards now. It's just a matter of finding a way to play them properly. I know I've got uh, mostly two-way forwards. I don't have, I barely have any snipers and playmakers on my team as it is right now. Uh, so that might have uh, a contribute effect to uh, as to why we struggled. But I still want to make it work, boys. So we're just gonna hop on into the draft lottery right away. We're not gonna mess any, t uh, any time here. We're gonna see if we can trade away anybody that we we know we're not gonna get back anyways. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go all the way to the ninth pick. Let's see, see if we can get into the top ten right here. So let's uh, trade away our first. We actually got two firsts. We have two firsts right here, boys. Let me see goalies, rookie skaters. Do we have any rookie skaters? Look at Owen Power. He's now an 80, 80 overall, boys. So Owen Power is actually an official goal, uh, player for the NHL, which is exactly what I wanted, I wanted to happen. We've got some players like Butcher, for example, but he doesn't have any value. Hag either. And uh, we do have Pavelski at 37 years of age, but doesn't have any value whatsoever, boys. So I'm not... I don't think we're going to be able to move up at all right now. I feel like... This is kind of a waste. Olufsen, I'm obviously going to keep him. He was my best player last year. So I might be tempted to just 
I mean, we can try and trade away somebody like Giordano, which is not going to be too good. He's going to drop for sure. But they, they don't have anybody that we can trade for. So we're not going to trade for anybody. We'll uh, just take the two draft picks we've got. We're going to roll with it. I mean, I could try and literally trade away my two firsts. I could try and do that. But if, if they don't want it, it's not going to happen, boys. Okay, so we can try and trade away my two firsts for their first. Let's do it really quick. Didn't happen, boys. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Let me uh, simulate the first pick already. Let's see. Sean Wright, 83 overall, boys. High elite. Goes with the Ottawa Senators. So, good for them. Yeah, I'm not... I don't want to... Re I think I want to keep my two trades. Unless I'm on the top five. Even in the top three. If I'm not, if I, if I'm in the top three, I'm not able to, like, if I'm not able to be in the top three, it's not worth getting rid of my two uh, firsts. So I, I think I can, uh, I can get this one. Let's try. Nope. All right. So that's not going to happen. So yeah, I'm not, not doing it, boys. We've got Miro Shnishchenko. What a goddamn name that is. Medium uh, elite sniper left wing. Uh, 79 overall. So pretty good for them. Last chance. Let's try and get the third uh, pick. Maybe we can get lucky with our one, boys. I'm not sure. I mean, we got a lot higher of a value right here. They still don't want it. All right, so no. We're going to keep both of our picks, boys. We're not going to mess around. So Savoie is the third pick. Let's uh, go ahead and just sim to the pick for the pick 14. Let's see uh, who picked who, basically. So Lambert or Lambert. Went uh, with the Arizona Coyotes. We've got Camel, medium elite sniper. Another medium elite sniper in uh, for New York. Medium elite two-way defenseman. Okay. Uh, same thing, two-way four this time around Slavowski. Going to Arizona. So Arizona's got themselves two medium elite players uh, for the future. That's crazy. A check in there. Geeky. Uh, that's kind of a miss right there. Same thing for all of them. And we've got... Oh, Montreal just got himself Gonchar. Playmaker left when you're mid medium elite. That's going to be great for them. If they don't get rid of him like they did for everybody else. But uh, that that's pretty good, boys. We're still in the top 14. So we can still look at these guys. Now, what I want to do is... Is there any gems? There is. We know, Okay, so we know for a fact that this guy is going to be a low elite, boys. And he's a gem, so we definitely want to pick him up in the future. We got to wait because he's a 60th pick, so we can wait. We don't want to pick him in the first round. Uh, we got a franchise player possibly right here, but I guess I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the, that. We also have a guaranteed, kind of a guaranteed medium elite. I kind of want to take my chances and get him in the first round as my second pick, boys. But right now... We got another Jack Hughes in there. Interesting. Yeah, right now I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait it out. So uh, we are going to take a chance. We've got some uh, medium elite potential right here. Or even some top sixes. Guaranteed top sixes here. Apple buy. I'm not convinced about him. But it does say he's a uh, one year ready. You know what? I'll, get a, I'll go on the limb right here. I'm actually going to take Apple buy, boys. Let's do it. Let's go on the limb right here. All right, medium top four. All right, so it's not it's not bad, but it's not. I'm guarantee you that there's probably an elite. Uh, there was an elite right there. I was just rushed with the the time right here. Could have called uh, for a timeout, but didn't know if I had enough time to even do that. So I took a lot of time to choose. Apple buys a good solid choice, I guess. Medium top four, right? Seventy three overall. It said it was a one year of. Be, uh, before uh, being ready which I'm not understanding how that's the case because it's probably going to need actually two years so it's not bad it could have been better boys definitely could have been better I mean it's better than this it's better than Verlamov that's for sure so so far yeah so far I've picked uh, a good one Coley okay let's see yeah I feel like I okay so I've pretty much picked up a good one because everybody else seems to be in the uh, 60s and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I didn't miss out on anybody, really. I didn't make any mistakes. All right, so the 20th, 20th uh, pick right here, or 22nd pick, we want to go for the gem. 
Yeah, so we want to go for not this guy. Uh, this guy is actually a gem as well. But uh, Perns, Phil Owsley and NHL ready, boys. Let's do it. Let's boo uh, Perns unless I've got somebody else that I can pick. I mean, I've got this guy right here. Joe Thornton, two years. I'm not sure. Like, 20, 38 goals, though. Yeah, that's a lot of... Yeah, this, this is a really good player. Vero is a really good player. I got a feeling he's probably a top six, boys. It's kind of a risky maneuver right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be... So, it's either one of these two. I'm going to have to pick between one of these two, guys. Because I'm not going to have the chance to... I'm going to miss out. So, if I have to pick between one of these two, I got to pick... I mean, this one is guaranteed, so I'm going to wait for it. I got to I, I gotta pick him. I got to pick Burns, boys. He's compared to Phil Housley, a legend. And he's NHL ready, it says. Might not be the case, but I'm going to take a chance on him. All right, so let's let's see. There we go. And there it is. Perfect. Medium elite. Defensive defenseman once again, but 78 overall. Even better than our previous pick, boy. So we got two defensive defensemen, but one of them, which is Perns, definitely a big pick. Yeah, I knew I needed to go for him, boys. It tell it told me he was compared to a legend. If he's compared to a legend, you gotta pick him. And also, if it says NHL ready, you gotta pick him up. I mean, come on. So definitely great choice right here. I'm happy about that. I'm definitely happy about that. Hopefully Vero doesn't get picked up because I really want to pick him next. I think that's the next one I really want to pick. So let's see if he's going to be picked at all. Unfortunately, he got picked dead last in the first round, boys. And he ended up being a 66 overall, medium top six. So I did the great choice right here between the two of them. Choosing between the two of them was by far the best choice I did, boys. Any elites that uh, were uh, that uh, are pa passed by so far? Not at all. Not really a lot of elites, boys. A lot of top sixes and top fours, though. So a lot of bo uh, good prospects, but nothing that stands out of the ordinary. So we got a top four right here. What about that top four? What is he? Nothing and two years. Not interesting by that. Not interested at all. We are the 45th uh, pick. The problem is with that, I don't know if I should go for, uh, for the guy I want to go for uh, just yet. We got a, this guy as well, which is interesting. Taylor All, though, so he's not a, a guy that's going to be like super OP or whatever. He's four years as well. Yeah, I'm not convinced by the, this Viking stat guy. He might be an elite. Definitely. At worst, he's probably going to be a, a low elite or something. So we should pick him up, but I'm just not convinced. What about this guy? Three years, but he's almost guaranteed to be an elite as well. But we got this guy. So this guy is scheduled for the 60, uh, 60th pick. This guy as well is scheduled for the 200th pick. So we can pick him at dead last if we want to. And Vikingstad seems to be the only one that has a comparison. Uh, and we've got my gem right here, which is a one year ready one year ready boys and that's counted to the max so it does tell me the truth uh we gotta pick him up we gotta pick lazarev for sure i don't have any choices here let's pick lazarev there we go low elite defensive defenseman once again 72 overall i don't know what's uh, what's with me in the defensive defenseman's boys but that's three picks in a row where i picked them uh but uh it turns out to be great for me it's doing great having a bunch of elite players so now we are all the way at the hundred and uh, second pick, which means that uh, they definitely got picked up. My other, the ones I wanted to pick, they they're already gone for sure. Yeah, the uh, the the other guy was gone, so that's unfortunate. I don't know what I'm gonna go for next. There is this guy that's available, five years though, but doesn't have any comparison. It's another defensive defenseman. Uh, I'm not too sure what to go for right here, boys. I could go for guaranteed medium top six, which I think would be the safest bet right now. It's the safe bet was would be to go for a, a guaranteed top six. Uh, so let's let's do that. Let's go for him. He's guaranteed to be a top six. So uh, or unless Machizny, nope. So we're gonna pick Nabokov, boys. He's guaranteed. So at least we're not gonna miss up. Uh, on that one, so two or four. The 
52 overall, but still pretty good, boys. So we're definitely happy about that one. All right, let's uh, let's see real quick. Let's go all the way here. Oh, we did miss out on Yashin. Medium elite, boys. Ooh. Okay, so we do have some big time prospects. We still got some elite players in there. Uh, anybody that's a gem? Nope. So there's no gems right here. Just a bunch of busts. So we're gonna. I'm gonna look around really quick. See if there's anybody. There might be this guy right here. Seems like a good one. He, he really seems like a good one. But picked uh, 200 overall. It's a risky maneuver to go for uh, this, these kinds of players, boys. You don't really know if they're gonna be any good. At this point, I think you want to go if they're low overall, or if you don't really hasn't scouted them properly in the terms of uh, potential. You want to go for the ones that uh, have the most amount of years still to grow, it's five years and stuff like that. But if you have a good, a high enough, like potential, on, uh, potential like this, you want to go for someone that has the years. That are closer by, you know, so it's kind of a risky uh, thing right here. I guess I'll take my chances on one of these guys. Uh, we'll take a uh, Yakola. We'll take him. Uh, we'll see if he's any good boys for us. It says he's, he would be ready in five years. Potential, maybe lower lead, but we'll see. I doubt it is. Yes, it's another defensive defenseman again. Uh, it's only that the only one that's not a defensive defenseman is Nabokov uh, as a center. Is the only one we haven't um, picked that was that. So we've got a lot of fourth round picks, by the way. These uh, we are in the fourth round after all. Uh, I, I gathered, I, I got them via the trade uh, stuff, the, uh, the, the 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 via the trades. So yeah, we're we're good on that part. Offensive defenseman, mm, five years, not really. I know where to be, where the we're gonna find some elites though. Snipers for sure, power forwards probably. Uh, two or fours, we're not gonna find any elites per se. I don't think so. Uh, hybrids, oh, we got some goaltenders. Like a goaltender like him, maybe. But he's not any good though, he's pretty garbage. So, we do have this Chistov uh, guy. Might be three years. So, he might be a good one. Uh, low top six boys, grinder. But uh, he's got three years. So let's pick, uh, let's pick this chest off guy. Okay, it's a low top nine, but 60 overall. That's fine, I guess. It's not really good, but it's not bad either. It's something that uh, is trade bait, I guess. I really don't know who to go for right here, boys. I'm kind of lost at this point. Really don't know who to go for. I think I might go for... Might go for Korolev. You can never go wrong with a goaltender. It's either a big high, a big, uh, it's either a, a miss or a really good pick. So let's see if he's any good for us. He's actually a pretty bad pick. All right, so it's a miss. It's a fringe starter, boys. Nothing we could have done right here. Uh, at this point, it's just uh, trying to figure out if we can get lucky on anybody. We do have this Crowder guy. Medium uh, to up top six, potentially. But I don't really see anything in him. I'll just pick the last one that we think it might be a medium elite boy. So let's let's pick this guy up. Unless I want to pick Scroder. Nah, let's pick uh, Pedro Schultz, boys. Pedro Schultz, let's see. Medium top seven. Yeah, so pretty bad. Let's see if uh, if my uh, the guy I, I was tr looking at is any good. So Scroder got picked by P the Panthers in 27th, uh, 22nd pick. Ended up being a top six, medium top, uh, actually ended up being a medium top nine, a 49 overall. Two or four as well, so much better pick on my, well actually it's pretty on par. It's pretty on par, but I ended up having the IS overall, so yeah, I don't know if I actually won that one. It's pretty 50-50 uh, on that one. So I'm not too sure who to go for. We don't have any uh, 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 real options. I guess I could go for this guy because we uh, scouted him uh, uh, properly the most. So I guess I'll just go for him. Apostolopoulos. What a goddamn name that is. That's one hell of a name, boys. You know what? Just for that name alone, I'll pick him up, boys. Just for that name. Let's pick him up. All right. Seventh defenseman. All right. So we picked up just a bunch of defensemen overall, uh, I guess. The at the high level we were really good. We did some really good picks. 
it's at the low levels that uh, of during the end of the draft uh, draft lottery that we did pretty bad. So uh, the head coach definitely want to keep him. We want to keep these two. Uh, these two though, we're gonna get rid of them and we're gonna replace them with better coaches overall, boys. Definitely gonna do that. So head coach, let's bring you back. And same thing for you, buddy. Oh, uh, you wanna be? No, you're gonna be an associate coach. You're not gonna be an, uh, a head coach. So Associate coach, I'll give you all the money you want. I don't have enough money though, right? Oh no, I do have enough money. I don't know how money I spent on him, but if he wants to be that, I'm guessing I'm going to try and give him... I got Okay, so that's my budget. I see it. I'll try and give him close to the maximum I can give him. So let's try and give him all the way up to 200 like that. Let's try and give him that. Hopefully he's going to accept because he wanted to be a uh, head coach. So hopefully that's not going to mess with us. Uh, we've got one of our scouts in Russia that needs to be re-signed. This guy all the way at the bottom right here. So he, this guy needs to be re-signed. We'll just re-sign him really quick. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now we're coming up to the re-sign phase. We haven't gotten any word on the re-sign for our coaches. So hopefully they're going to accept. But uh, let's go to the resign phase, boys. Now, the thing is, I don't want to mess things up here. I want to keep the same team mostly. And we also want to get like upgrade them via the uh, free agency. But let's see. So one, two, three. So we already have our three players for the bottom bottom six and uh, in the top six. We already have them. Pretty sure Cousins is going to grow during the offseason. We have Pavelski, but Pavelski... I feel like I could find somebody better, boys. Now, he's a great player. Oh, my God. 99 of and I? Yo, this guy is crazy. 99 of and I. How is that possible? Someone... Uh, that's got to be the guy that boosted him up to maximum or something. He's actually a really good defensive def uh, defensive for uh, forward. Yeah, he's done... Yeah, he's pretty good. I kind of tempted to... To keep him but the problem is I know I'm probably gonna have better choices I'll get rid of him for now we'll let it leave him to the free agency and we'll probably pick him uh, pick him up if we want to in the free agency if we don't have any other options so we got three players we're gonna need a center for sure unless Rooster Linus is gonna be ready to play I doubt it though I doubt he's gonna be ready to play it's a medium top nine so I'm not going to take any chances on him. So uh, in the minors, we've got Cody Eakin. He doesn't want to come back, so we're not going to force his hand. We just need four centers. Let's see. Uh, Konechny, you're definitely not coming back. we got Nepokov right here. We're going to keep him growing before signing him. Me uh, McInnes, get rid of him. Let's get rid of McInnes. And let's get rid of this Malone guy as well. Rustalainen, do I want to keep him? I definitely, I think I do. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty decent boy. So let's let's keep him and uh, I guess give him the maximum amount of years right here. Give him uh, for a three-year deal. And also we're going to give Hayden right here. I think we want to keep him for sure. He's a pretty decent, uh, decent player. So yeah, I like him quite a lot. I'm going to keep him uh, three years as well. And we're going to give him the maximum amount of money. All right, so we are going to need two centers for the miners as well. Next up, boys, left wingers. So left wingers, we we already have... Well, we got three players for the left wing. I'm pretty sure Peyton Krebs is going to be ready to play. Uh, he's 79 overall, so he might grow during the off season. So that is something I don't want to... Like, I don't want to make any mistakes on that one. I might be tempted to play Peyton Krebs in the, in the league, boys, because I feel like he's going to be ready. We got Bjork in here. We got Asplon. So that might be four right here. We already have our depth uh, forward in Jurgensen's. So if we take a look, if we can uh, uh, say that Krebs is going to be in the league, we only, ha only have one, two, three. We got three players right now. So we got three players that are uh, currently signed off for the AHL. Bottom six, Biro is going to get out of here. Same thing for Murray. We don't want a, him anymore. And we could sign back Cagliola, which I think I'm going to do for sure. 
then he yeah he's he's pretty good so we're, we'll sign him back for a three-year deal as well we'll sign him back for a three-year deal boys there we go so that's gonna be the four players so we're good in terms of left wing position we're good boys so we only have two right wingers right now signed up I think I definitely want to go Olofsson once again. He was my best player last year, so we want to keep him. We want to keep Olofsson. Uh, we want to give him a big-time contract. Seven years would be a bring up to the 33 years of age, which is exactly what I want to do. So uh, let's bring him up to that. So seven. Uh, we're, giving, we're going to give him a little bit more just to make sure he does sign with us. So 8.725 boys for seven years. There we go. Tuck and uh, Ox Ocposo are going to be the two other players. And we got Jack Quinn as well. Hold on. Yeah, we also have Jack Quinn. That's right. So we have our four right wingers. Our four right wingers are already there. We already have them in, um, in position. Okay, got you. For the minors, we got one and two. Two minor players. Uh, this guy we're going to get rid of. And I guess Inostroza, do I want to give uh, get him back? He did really good. Oh yeah, he's a good player. Lots of takeaways. Really good players in uh, player in the minors. Yes, he's a really good one. So we're, we we want to keep him. In Estrosa, you're gonna stay in the minors, and I'll give you the maximum. Oh, actually, it's a uh, it's a one way deal. So I'll just give you the uh, 1.95, I guess, for three years. Might as well keep you for a couple of years. Give you the five year deal, so it brings you up at 33. All right, that's perfect. Let's give him that deal, boys. And we are going to need, I guess, a right wing, uh, right winger for the minors. Next up, defense-wise, we only have, so Darlene, we got Darlene and Yorki Haju, uh, two of them. And we also have Owen Power, so that's three defensemen uh, signed up right now. Uh, we also have Perns, 78 overall. Not quite ready to play in the NHL yet. I feel like he, we're going to have to play him in the uh, in the minors. So we're going to have to wait on that. Have Giordano. He's pretty old though. So he might drop to an 82 or something, boys. But he's already in the same... He's going to say uh, stay in the same game for me, boys. The same uh, area of talent. Uh, so we're, we don't need to worry too much about that. I think we since we have three defensemen... We need to try and find better ones. Uh, Hag. I, I feel like Giordano could be my depth defenseman. But oh. Doesn't do. Yeah he's not that good. Doesn't have any N high whatsoever boys. His N high is actually atrocious. So we're going to get rid of uh, Giordano. Get rid of all these other defensemen as well. Everybody. Get rid of an entire defensive line boys. We are going to go and search for better defensemen. We got Bryson. Now, Bryson was uh, playing for us the entire year. I thought he's going to be uh, growing too much. And he's not really that impressive for me. So, we'll sign him back. But we'll get him for the minors. That's about it, really. And for the minors, we only have... So, we got three players for the minors right now. Let's get rid of Li uh, Likasen. We're going to sign Bryson. Definitely sign him to... Uh, yeah, big time, uh, uh, big time deal. So eight years, thirty-two years of age. Sign him to the big time uh, deal, boys, at uh, two point five seventy-five. Just make sure he does uh, come uh, come with us. So that's gonna be it. That's gonna be one, two, three, four. So we got four defensemen right now. We got lots of defensemen already right on our, right away to play in the league. We want to make sure that that happens. Uh, top sevens, the top sevens we're gonna get rid of, because we already have two, uh, four defensemen. We only need three, uh, two more. So even this guy Pesic, yeah, even Pesic we're gonna get rid of. I wanna try and yeah, I wanna, I wanna play him. I wanna play Lazarev. Uh, Apple buy we're gonna, we're gonna keep him growing, but uh, Lazarev, is an elite player, so we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna play him as well. So, Perns, you're gonna play. Let's give you the minor deal. And same thing for Lazarev. Lazarev, you're going to play, buddy. So we got our six defensemen. So that is that. And last but not least, for goaltenders, everybody needs to be re-signed. Now, Fleury does not want to come back. So we are not going to sign him back, boys. I guess we're bringing him into the free agency. Tarkarski was a really good for us last year. 
but he did drop him potential to a French a starter. Kind of scared he's not going to be as good as I wanted him, um, as we are going to need him to be. But we're going to keep him. We're going to keep him as the as the backup goaltender. We're, we'll keep him like that. And uh, just another one-year deal, just to see if he starts dropping. So one-year deal, I'll give him 3.1, uh, 25 boys, all right? So one-year deal only. And uh, for Subban, Subban, I'm not too sure. I mean, we, we need to pick up one of these guys. Craig Anderson, I would love to have him back for the minors, but I, I'm not too sure, boys. We also have Lukanen. All right, so definitely we want to we we want to sign Lucan and boys. He's our he's one of our prospects, the only prospect in goaltender wise that we got. So let's sign him for a big time deal, I guess. Eight years would bring him at thirty one years of age. Let's him uh, sign him for the big time deal uh, at uh, five point eight because he he wants four point eight. We're give him we're gonna give him five point eight seventy five. Make sure that he does sign with us. He's our only goaltender, uh, goaltending prospect that we've got. Okay, and uh, the last but not least, French starter. I think uh, Anderson is just not good enough anymore. So we'll just we'll just sign either Subban and Dell. Uh, that's fine by me. Dell is gonna drop, so we'll just sign Subban again. Let's get Subban back, boys, for the minors. A five-year deal. There we go. That's going to uh, bring him up to the 30, 33 years of age. The reason why I'm doing 33 years of age, boys, for the contract is because uh, that's usually when they start dropping. They start dropping usually around that time. Uh, so that's uh, that's why I'm uh, usually do I'm doing that. So I'm not entirely too thrilled with the role you offer me, but I'm uh, after mulling it over, I accept. Okay, so... Uh, Hulo boys, our head coach, he came back. I am not interesting with joining this job title. Okay, so we did not get. So we we're getting everybody else in terms of contract. Oh, somebody rejected. I saw it. Okay, so a couple of them are rejecting. Hold on. So first of all, my associate coach rejected my offer. I guess I don't have enough money to sign him. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We don't have enough money to sign him, so we'll drop it. Drop him uh, uh, in, uh, entirely and we'll sign him in the, uh, I guess, if we don't have anything uh, better, we'll sign him into the, um, the free agency, during the free agency. So we do have, I think, two players that refuse to play with us or refuse to sign with us, which is Ristolainen and Cagliola for some reason. Uh, Ristolainen does not want to come back with us. Three-year deal, buddy. Come on. Three-year deal. Sign with us. What the hell is wrong with you? And what about Cagliola? Why does he not want to sign with us right now? Two-way deal? Yeah, two uh, three-year deal, buddy. Giving you the maximum amount of money, so uh, accept that. Yeah, like, there's no reason as to why you shouldn't be accepting that. Goalie? All right, we got everybody else. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what's wrong with these two. Dollar value is too. Uh, it's not enough. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the two-way deal. That's as much as I can go. Same thing for Risto Line. All right. The, well, these two can go then. They, these two can definitely go in that case. And uh, I guess I'll pick somebody else. So we're going to need, I guess, a left winger for the minors, an extra left winger. And we're going to need a, a center in minors as well. All right, then. Let me release both of your asses. If you don't want to sign with me, fine by me. Well, I guess that's fine in that case. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to end it right here, boys. In the next video, we're going to do the free agency. And we'll uh, start simulating probably. So remember to leave a like and subscribe to the interview. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.